So this one's been long overdue. I've been meaning to check this one out here on the channel for a while, but just one of those things where I put it off for a good amount of time. But I figured I would start to try to bring some content like this into the channel just a little bit more on a regular basis here to give you guys some affordable options for you. And in this instance here, not only is it an affordable alternative to a fragrance, but it's also an alternative to a fragrance that is discontinued. You can't even really buy it anymore. So we're gonna be talking about Insurrection 2 Wild. And of course, this one here is very similar to Mugler's Pure Havan, or Pure Havan. You know, this right here. Yeah, you know that bottle very well. Uh, it was a limited edition, I believe, so it, it makes sense that now you can't buy it anymore. Um, they're finally not making it anymore, which is a bummer because it's really good stuff. But at the end of the day, I can't be that upset over it because this one here is really good. So we're gonna dive into Insurrection 2 Wild today. I'm gonna tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, how it compares to the Moogler fragrance I was talking about, and uh, just, I think you should pick it up. And that's probably pretty obvious. Now I will drop a link to this one down below as well, so you can pick this one up uh, for a discounted price. Typically, I wanna say these are in the $30 range, somewhere around in there, so very, very affordable, very obtainable. All right, let's dive right into it, starting off with how this one smells. Now, when you first spray it on, if you've smelled Pure Havan before, uh, or something like Zerzhov Naxos before, then you will be very familiar with how this smells up top in the opening. You immediately get this rich honey tobacco combination, which there's just nothing else out there quite like it. I mean, it really is just such an intoxicating and, and kind of a, addicting smell that almost wraps you up. I mean, it really smells incredible. So right off the bat, it does have kind of a syrupy sweetness, right? Mostly from how the honey is mixing with the tobacco there. Now there is some balance being that the tobacco kind of gives off a little bit of a smokiness. It's like a red pipe tobacco smell to me. Then the honey is putting all that sweetness into it, but there's a little bit of a kind of middle ground, and I think that they did a good job of finding that with this DNA in general. So it's one of those things where if you're coming from aquatics, freshies, you know, just general men's woody, fresh fragrances, this is gonna be potentially kind of a, a shock for you. You know, you're gonna smell this and be like, holy crap, because it really is way different than kind of, I would say, what most guys out there would typically wear. Not that it's, you know, something that smells feminine and guys wouldn't want to wear it, but typically when you think of cologne, you think of something clean and fresh, right? Most people do, especially people that aren't super into the community. And so I'm telling you that just so you know to kind of approach this one with potentially some caution, depending on which you're into. If you're someone that already likes sweet fragrances, you like something with depth and richness and kind of a complexity, then this is going to be all for you. Now you do get some vanilla as well, kind of adding to that sweetness. It's kind of a creamy vanilla, a little bit uh, syrupy, but not in like a, a super overpowering way. Like it's not syrupy like the honey. It's more of just like a vanilla extract kind of smell, you know, very photorealistic. Uh, one other thing that you'll notice when you first spray it is it opens up with a good amount of spiciness as well. So I believe they just have spicy notes listed off in here. Uh, to me, it's like a cinnamon, a nice cinnamon and maybe a black pepper combination. So that also adds to this kind of warm, inviting type of appeal. And even though that may sound weird, something super spicy, you think it would do the opposite. But it's something about that cinnamon then mixing with everything else that just wraps you up. And I mean, this smells like fall. It smells like winter time. It smells like the time of year where, you know, you're, you're getting out of the, the brutally hot summer months. You're starting to move into that time where you're gonna be wearing hoodies. You're gonna be wearing jackets. You're just uh, trying to stay warm, trying to relax, right? Just getting into that winter mindset. That's what this one's all about. It smells great, uh, just in the cool weather in general. It's just, uh, one of those fragrances that really has something special about it. We will take a look at the full note breakdown for this one here. Uh, we've got tobacco, honey, vanilla, spicy notes, already covered those. Uh, tonka bean, cacao, and woody notes are the only three ones that are left here that we haven't talked about. And the tonka bean is there, uh, more so in the dry down, giving it kind of a powdery smell. It's not too overpowering though. And general woods is coming through, right? Nothing too crazy there either, nothing out of the ordinary. 
basically every fragrance for men uses woods to some extent and it's more subdued here. Uh, another thing is the cacao. Now that's kind of giving off this chocolatey kind of uh, almost gourmand smell. Now it's not too strong either but it is a nice little touch you know it's just a small detail. One thing that did impress me when I initially got this one in and started testing it was the quality. I know I talk about quality a lot on the channel, but it is something I do like to bring up because you know you can have fragrances that are in this price that are terrible in terms of quality. You can have some that are really, really good, right? It really is all over the board, it's hit or miss. And to be fair, that can happen up in the higher price ranges as well, although not as common. As Soon as you get around this price point and under, it really is a roll of the dice, you know? If you're blind buying, you may end up with something that is, has terrible quality, has a strong alcohol smell when you first spray it on and it takes a while to go away and it just has this kind of chemical smell or you may get something that's very smooth. You just don't know until you try it. But I found for me with this one here, uh, it's been very smooth uh, from opening to dry down. Um, I've been impressed, like actually really impressed. Now, I wasn't really thinking that it was gonna be of poor quality because this one is very well regarded, right? A lot of people know it and talk about it. This is definitely nothing new. But just how good it was is, is surprising to me. Now, I'm not gonna say it's as high of quality as the Moogler, um, and definitely not as high of quality as something like Zerzhov Naxos, which this one is also similar to, but it really does start to get close to the Moogler for me. And, uh, you know, honestly, really, this is the one to get even if the Moogler was still being produced and you could still buy it, you know, I think when it's in stock, what does it go for? I can't even remember, $70, it depends, right, on how limited the stock is, but I've seen it anywhere from probably 70 to 100, somewhere around in there, big range. Um, I still think that this is the one you should get, especially for the price, like it's that close and that good. Performance on my skin has also been very solid, which is cool to see. It's been kind of around that seven to eight hour mark for longevity. Um, this is, I wanna say it's an Eau de Parfum, isn't it? I didn't look. Um, it's kind of hard to read on the bottom. Eau de, no, it's an Eau de Toilette. So yeah, for an EDT, um, seven, eight hours of longevity, that's pretty impressive, especially at this price point. And I know I keep saying that, but that's important to think about. When you've tried as many things as I've tried in a whole wide variety of price ranges, and you you should see and smell some of the stuff that I've smelled in this price range and below that will never make it onto the channel because they just aren't good. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there that just is not good and so when you can get something that is this good for this price it is impressive longevity is good projection is also solid um, given the amount of sweetness that this one has it really does push out a good amount like i sprayed this one up in the air a few times throughout the videos you've seen and i can still smell it i didn't spray it on my skin granted some probably landed but it's literally just hanging in the air like it has great sillage this one will get you noticed. Very good performance, definitely above average. And even as far as mass appeal goes, it's, it's a decent one, you know, especially in the winter time if you're wearing it when it is cold outside, it's, you know, it is a cozy fragrance, that's when it's gonna do the best. You know, this is not really in season right now, it's quite opposite actually, but I wanted to get the video out anyway just so you could pick it up in the off season, maybe save a bit of money um, or, you know, if you could wear it in the summer. Some of you watching it, actually it is winter where you are in that part of the world, right? So just one of those things where I wanted to go ahead and put it out anyway. But I mean, yeah, it's impressive stuff all the way around here. And again, like I was saying, the mass appeal, it would shock you. I think that's gonna do it for me. That was my thoughts on Insurrection 2 Wild. Even the bottle's pretty nice. I like it, I like the gradient. That always makes it look you know, kind of fancy. You know, just adding a simple gradient really does wonders for it. Cap does click into place. There is some detailing on the top of the atomizer there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, all around, impressive stuff. I will link this one down below. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.